So I wasn't going to talk about welding in my handyman channel because I'm not a very good welder, but then I got to thinking that there's two reasons why I should. One, um, if you think welding is easy, it's, it's not. And the other reason is if you want to do welding but you're afraid you won't be able to do it good enough, uh, my point would be you can make something like this and uh, it, the welds on this are not good but it's it's gonna be I'm gonna put it in the grate over here cars are gonna drive on it and it's gonna hold up because that's the way welding is it these welds don't have to look good if they are bonded if it's hot enough to melt the parent metal and deposit some stick, some fresh metal, then it'll hold. And uh, now it won't hold up to uh, in the most severe strain, like for instance the tongue, tongue on a trailer. But um, for something like this, it'll hold. There's no real force against the weld here. It's just a matter of holding everything together. I welded these two ends on. This. So, um, the other thing I was going to say is two things. One is for a MIG, you'll get a prettier weld, but you, it's you, sometimes you, if you don't get it hot enough, it won't bond. With, and it, and it, you got more stuff to fool with, too. Your gas and your wire feed. With a stick, it's, it's harder, but you're going to get hot enough. And it's a simpler, there's less stuff to fool with. So now I'll show you the grate where this goes. See, my design was to uh, avoid this and this by um, welding a piece along the side here. And, uh, you know, you have to get all this pretty straight. It's kind of a lot of work. I think when this is welded, this wire, these pieces are held in a machine and brought in and then this wire is laid on top and the electricity is one by one cause that wire to sink in but I'm just guessing on that I'm not really sure so I'm gonna weld this up uh, it's a grate for the church and uh, basically you um, the mass produce this that grid the uh, slats and then you cut them to size and then I'm welding two ends on it to help it from uh, getting bent up like it has in the past. And I'm doing this video as a uh, backwards so you've seen the finished product and this is just before the finished product when I've got it all bolted together so that it won't well, uh, warp when the heat hits it and I've got a frame there with um, uh, rock, the kind of rock you put behind a uh, ceramic tile, and then it was supported by wood. I built that frame, as I say, to it'll warp if you, when the heat hits it if you don't hold it in place. You must wear a face shield like this when you're doing uh, grinding operations like this. <laughs> so 
So here I want to emphasize that 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 only that face shield will keep your those um, pieces of metal out of your eyes and uh, or or goggles that completely seal over the side. But most people don't like those. But I have glasses that are kind of wide and they it'll get in behind them. Uh, and it's very important, of course, to protect your eyes. Um, so what I've done here is, um, what I'm doing is trimming it up prior to welding. And really the biggest procedure that you're not seeing is making all those uh, pieces on a f flat on the same height. Because when they were cut, they weren't cut exactly right. It was cut out of a bigger sheet. So one will be sticking up higher than the other and you want to get them all kind of close mainly actually they wouldn't have to be so close except they're too long to start with so I, I can't have any long ones I, you know or won't fit in the grate so this is just something I saw and it's a, apparently a tiny home that was built on top of a trailer that somebody had and I, my guess is the weight exceeded their planning and as a result, the um, the tongue broke and had to be re-welded. Um, and th this is an example of where a weld really has to be perfect because you're trying to uh, duplicate the original metal and uh, it's still problematic.